Origins and Naming Legio the First Italica, the first Italian legion, was founded by Emperor Nero on September 66 AD. He had recruited this legion for a campaign in Armenia and the Far East. Nero nicknamed the new unit the Phalanx of Alexander the Great, but later changed the name to Italica, reflecting its Italian origins. Campaigns and Victories Legio Front Italica participated in various important campaigns throughout its existence. Initially, it was recruited by Nero for a planned campaign in Armenia. However, due to changed circumstances, the governor of Gallia Lugdunensis, Gaius Julius Vindex, rebelled against Nero. The legion received new orders and was redirected to Gaul. By the time the legion reached Gaul, the rebellion had been crushed by the governor of Germania Superior, Lucius Virginius Rufus. In the same year, Emperor Nero commits suicide, and the Senate declares Galba, Vindex's ally, as the new emperor. This caused great tension in Rome because Virginius' army had supported the wrong man. Soldiers of the 1st Italian Legion sided with the rebels, left the base to which Galba had sent them. Role in the Civil War The leader of the Gaul Revolt, Vitellius, and his legions, including the Legio the Italica, marched on Rome. Near Cremona, Vitellius's five Alaudi, the Italica, and Acciugen Rapax defeated Galba. According to the Roman historian Tacitus, the 1st Italian Legion was the bravest of all units involved, and its eagle was paraded proudly through the streets of Rome when Vitellius entered. Vitellius did not enjoy the empire for long, because in the east the general sent to suppress the Jewish revolt, Vespasian was proclaimed emperor. The legions on the Danube switched to his side, a new battle took place near Cremona. Again, Italica fought valiantly, but this time the Vitellians were defeated. The new emperor Vespasian sent the Italica Legion to Moesia, where it was stationed at Novi. Danube Defense and Eastern Campaigns Following the Civil War, Vespasian sent the Legio the Italica to the province of Moesia, Novae, in 70 AD. The legion played a crucial role in maintaining stability along the Danubian frontier and remained at Novi for centuries. It took part in the Dacian Wars of Emperors Domitian and Trajan. During Trajan's War of 101-106, 1st Italica guarded the bridgehead across the Danube. Several inscriptions mention soldiers who were decorated during these campaigns. Other inscriptions show that subunits of 1st Italica participated in Trajan's ill-fated war against the Parthian Empire 115, 117 AD. During the reign of Marcus Aurelius, Legio the Italica was involved in the wars against the Germanic tribes that threatened to cross the Danube. After a long war, the Romans had conquered much territory on the left side of the Danube. In 193, the governor of Pannonia Superior, Septimius Severus, claimed the purple and moved to Italia. First Italica supported Severus, but did not move to Italy. The legion fought against Severus's rival, Pisinius Niger, besieging Byzantium. In the third century, during the rule of Caracalla, the legion participated in the construction of the Limes Transalutanus, a defensive wall along the Danube which began near Novae. The last reports prove that, during the reign of Severus Alexander, subunits of legion stayed at Salonai on the Dalmatian coast. Enduring legacy and emblems. For centuries, the Legio in Italica has demonstrated its courage and loyalty in numerous battles, earning a reputation as one of the bravest legions. The legion's emblem was the boar, symbolizing its strength and ferocity on the battlefield. Regardless of its ultimate fate, the Legio de One Italica left a lasting impact on Roman military history. The legion's disciplined soldiers, unwavering loyalty and significant contributions in various campaigns cemented its reputation as a formidable force within the Roman army.